Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're gonna talk about med student syndrome. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about med student syndrome. So who's ready to talk about something uncomfortable? Even though clinical psychology is the area most people think of when they think about psychology, it can still be really hard for most of us to talk about and learn about psychological disorders. But really, it shouldn't be. The APA estimates that about one in five people are going to experience some sort of psychological disorder throughout their life. About 1 in 24 people are going to experience serious mental illness, meaning that they'll be admitted to a medical ward for clinical treatment. Mental illness and psychological disorders affect all of us, not caring about your age or your race or your gender or your socioeconomic status. About three-fourths of cases are diagnosed by the age of 24. That, well, According to our Psy vs. Psy official YouTube demographics, you right now are probably in a very critical window for your mental health. But there is one hugely important thing that you should learn about before you start studying any other kind of psychological disorder. Often, when talking or learning about disorders, psychological or medical, it's pretty common to begin a sort of internal examination of yourself. When we begin seeing these conditions in ourselves without appropriate evaluation, it's called medical student syndrome. In med student syndrome, people think that they might have a disorder just because they're studying that material. For instance, if you were in medical school and started learning about skin disorders, you might start examining every mole or birthmark that you have or monitoring yourself for rashes. If you're a psychology student, you might start picturing yourself having a myriad of psychological disorders like OCD or anxiety or depression or PTSD. The list just goes on and on. In 2011, two researchers, Dio and Limburner, looked specifically at students studying psychology for what they called psychology student syndrome. They found a high correlation between neuroticism and anxiety about psychological health. But remember, this is correlational data, not causational. We only know that neuroticism and psychological health anxiety are related, not which one causes the other. It could be that those who score high on a big five personality measure of neuroticism, who we know are more reactive and likely more vulnerable to stress, pre-select into a career path where they can focus on that psychological anxiety. Or it could be that those interested in psychological health have been more impacted by their tendency towards neuroticism. Or there could be some third unrelated factor that we just haven't identified yet. Why is that important to you? Well, the biggest recommendation that Dio and Limburner made to combat med student syndrome is to openly talk about and bring more awareness to the issues surrounding med student syndrome. So that's, that's what we're doing. Like, like right now, that's what this video is for. Med student syndrome is incredibly common. Some experts claiming that 70 to 80% of medical students demonstrate symptoms. So when you learn about psychological disorders, it's okay to have anxiety surrounding them. If you think you are experiencing symptoms of a mental disorder or psychological disorder and it's impacting you in your daily life, please seek out whatever medical, clinical, and emotional support you need and remember, there are always resources available to you, and I will link some of those down below. If you want to know more about the psychological conditions that can affect you, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos, and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!
Huh, according to these demographic data, our audience is mostly under age 25. Well, that's because we're cool. We are? Well, I am. Thank you.